Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmless. This is video 11, and today we're talking about the Harmonizer. So let's load up a default patch, as we always do, and then bring our cutoff frequency a little higher, and then alt-click this amount knob, and bring down the volume for your ears and mine. Now let's listen to a note here. We have our standard saw wave. Now when we bring this amount knob up, what we notice is that these harmonics are either turned up or turned down to accentuate what this says here in this list, so octave up. We have a few of these to choose from, so let's scroll through these. Octave up plus one. Octave up plus two. Arm up. Arm up plus one. And then back at the top. The interesting thing too is, so on harm up, and a harm up plus one, we can see that we really have the same series of, of harmonics. It's just that some are turned up and some are turned down to really showcase what's actually happening. So next up, we have this width knob, and this is going to say how many or how many of these harmonics do you want to have this effect and how far up along the spectrum. So if we had this width all the way to the bottom, we don't notice any effect. It's the same thing as if this was off. So if we turn our amount all the way back up and we increase this width, it can kind of determine how much of that uh, harm, harm up plus one we want to have in here. And then moving on, we have the strength, so how strong this effect is going to be, so how loud those harmonics are going to be turned up or turned down. And hopefully you can see it on the screen here how you can see the different volume of each of these harmonics as well. And then you have the LFO knob right below the width knob here, and this is basically going to subject this LFO or the subject this width knob to the LFO. So if I were playing a note here, and I was maybe doing something like moving that width knob, that's the same thing as if I had this LFO going on. That's the same thing as if I were to move that knob, but just now the LFO is controlling it. And you also have another velocity control as well. So last thing to really talk about about the harmonizer, harmonizer is where we're gonna put it in the chain. So by default, it's on final, but if you want it to have it pre-filter, you can do that. If you wanna have it pre-phaser, you can do that, or pre-pluck, if you're using the pluck options here, you can do that. Or if you want it at the very end that where it defaults at, you can have that too. So it's always important to realize where you're actually putting your effects in what kind of sequence. Kind of like in Harmer, when you go into the advanced tab, you can reorganize how the effects are processed. So that's basically a small drop-down version of that. So hopefully this clears up the harmonizer if you had any questions about it. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.